Hi, this is Johnny. Uh, I got a missile commander and it's a field test edition. And I like this one better and this one does cost more because it costs more money than the, than the other one. I think it's like $169.99. So I did a pre-order and I guess I get the 10% discount. So there was another box before this one and I already took it off. So now I'm going to open this one and I'm going to do unboxing. In the back of it, I have other, uh, other system that I bought with the uh, new wave toys now in the beginning i wasn't sure it was, was it the numbskull is going to be better than the new wave toys but after ha i have recently purchased the bubble bubble and uh, the dig and dug and i find out those screens are not good they are a little bit bigger than the one behind us i think the one behind us is 3.5 inches but the one that came with the uh, uh, numbskull is, I think, it, uh, I believe it's 14 inches. But the problem with the numbskull is they are bigger, and but for tabletop it is a little bit too tall. So the the new wave toy, they got it down pretty good, and when you play on the tabletop, I, I you know it's just a, a right height. Even though the screen is a lot smaller, it's a half inch smaller than the lump skull. So mine is a 12.8 inches. Uh, I didn't want to get two, two of the miss, Missile Commander because it, it's not cheap. But as a collection, uh, I think it's worth its money because, because uh, they make it so down to where it's almost perfect compared to the, the original arcade. Now, I have missed the dragon uh, layer from last time. I was ready to order it and I lost it. That was like a couple years ago, but I'm glad they came out with a newer version of new and older uh, of the dragon layer so I have pre-ordered that as well so let's go ahead and open up the box you can see what's in there we got the missile commander menu now I heard that uh, from previous other people's uh, video the the screen might be a little bit uh glare but i will find out pretty soon so here's the collection of all the one that already out there and that's weird i never i never got the centipede from them instead i got the centipede from Numbskull. I did got the Templars, Street Fighter, Dragon Layers coming, and I got the Cupid, and I have both of the uh, fighting, uh, 1982 and 1984 fighting, but I didn't know, I, I never got the, the centipede. I got both of this, I got game, I got this one, uh, Cupid have came in. And I got this one too. This two, 1942 and 45. And then I just got this one. Those dragon layers come in. Street Fighter is already here. I already got those like a couple years ago. But I didn't know I, I didn't know I missed the centipede. Oh, I do have the centipede. <laughs> it's right here. Good, good. I do have the centipede. But they don't have dig and dug. I was getting confused between the dig and dug. Okay. 
Yeah, they didn't make the dig none. This is the coin. So I did have everything that they have. The only one that haven't come yet is the one they just re released the dragon layer. And so I'm looking forward for that. And uh, the newer version, I don't know about all the newer version now able to plug into TV. Now this is an old, old, uh, more like a first generation, but did not released until recently. And this was purchased last year. 2021 and it just came in uh, this year 2022 and uh, there was some delay due to some kind of model design or something that they were saying that it wasn't 100% accurate but if you are not happy with that you could cancel it but I didn't cancel I kept it so I'm glad I kept it because I I really like the way the uh, the way they make their system. I wish Namskar, I know Namskar, they're making the Sweet Fire uh, Ninja Turtle based on the last uh, YouTube video that they was talking about it. But the one thing was that I hope they don't, they don't get those bad screen because the screen is, is what killed it. You know, they make a good product too, but they just kill it. The one I'm talking about, keep on repeating, is this one. This one is the one that I complain. They have a little bit bigger screen, but the problem with this is that their screen one direction is very bad. And I hope that, I was trying to figure out if I could get a screen same size to replace this, but uh, I had, I don't have any luck at that moment at this time. So because the one that I, I like was the five inches and those are four inches screen. So if I was to mod that I will have to get rid of the basil and then just replace it with Raspberry Pi. Okay. So this is real cool cool looking. The trackball is a lot bigger. It's on my thumb on the size of my thumb I think my hand is not that big so it's the size of my thumb where the previous one is is a very tiny uh, tiny joystick and I'll, and I'll compare it with that one that's a centipede and this is a missile they both use the trackball but this trackball feels very nice it really spin where the other one doesn't spin as, as fast as the but the other one feel more like a, a marble, the size of a marble, and this one is is actually feel like a trackball. Okay, so we're gonna peel this off. Okay, so it looked like they added a, a screen on top of this to make the missile commander more of the original. Yeah. Is this top screen right here on the on the front? So let's look at this. So this screen right here is the one that make the the screen the way it is. Okay, the one in the back it is a regular LCD. No, let me take that back. The 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 front of the screen is just a regular uh pexy glass or plastic. The one behind it is the one that uh is made special. And I like the idea they designed the speaker that looks so cool. And this is the three player point. And uh, so this is big enough to, uh, I believe, to put one of this in here. Mm. Uh, to make it small. They all use a micro USB. So I know they change it to USB-C. So if you were to lose this, you won't be able to charge it. It's hard to find micro USB cable now because everybody's moving to USB-C, which is a better. Here is a little bit of a off right there. See that? little bit 
caving. Maybe that's what they was talking about. But other than that, wow, this button here a lot smaller than the previous button, the volcano button. They are like, like a pin button. <laughs> it's very small. Well, this one have the clicking noise. This one you don't. No clicking noise. Okay, but those are the one that you are going to push to file. And then make this silver, and it's actually, it's actually, it's not just a picture, it's actually sticking up. The little, this is a picture, but this is not. This is actually sticking, sticking up, but um, the same size as this, but it doesn't push or nothing. And this is uh, actually a piece of, look like a speaker. See, it's actually stick out. It's not a picture part of this picture. And they also put a plexiglass here too as well. Which is gonna be cool because it's gonna light up. And the graphic looks so pretty. Looks so nice. So, and right now they actually are, are selling this for 169. Mine is a nine, 896 out of 25,000. And voltage is 120 and something, uh, Amps is three, I believe. It's made by a toy. Warning to prevent electronic shock, disconnect the power supply cord before opening all service. They want you to unplug the cable first. So no input out or anything. I don't know what this is, just a warning sticker. Here's a warning sticker. And then this is the bottom. So it got a little bit of whopper. Okay, they didn't send us an extra whopper to, to replace in case the old one get lost on this one. For some reason this one, uh, I guess you, is, you have to look at it as a first generation because this was in uh, when they first was talking about it, about what they're going to bring on the plate, that was like a couple years ago, 2018, I believe. And they was talking about this one a long time ago. But they did not put it out until, until now. So everything on this one, it would be similar to, to the one like this one, the the centipede. This would be a good one to compare it because it used the trackball where this is a lot bigger and this is smaller. So let me go ahead and plug this to the back. I really wish they will make a Street Fighter. Not Street Fighter, but uh, they already did make Street Fighter. Uh, Ninja Turtle. Oh, and the light light up. It would be so cool if they would make a uh, uh, Ninja Turtle with the original Ninja Turtle uh, with the April on the side. That would be real cool because uh, that's, some, that's something that I would definitely buy. I probably might buy two of those if they have it. I kind of wish I bought another one because uh, I like the Street Fighter and I like the idea to have uh, micro switch and the joystick is very nice and I wish that I bought two of those but uh but that's cool I did buy two of the power uh, change coin to allow you to plug in more device and so let's go ahead and power this on so power I guess you have to hold it There you go. And let's see if I could bring it closer. And then zoom in. See how this button is smaller? And this button a lot bigger. Pretty cool. See how loud you get. 
So that's the loudest you get. The speaker is not in the front, the speaker is in the back right here. Right here, this one speaker right here. This is just for look. I wish it, the speaker was here. Now one thing is real cool is this whole thing light up. You know, I really like this big uh, mark here. Then the smaller one. This give it that nice look. You know, that nice awesome look. And I believe it's only come with one game. So, uh, let me turn this one on. I haven't turned a lot of, uh, I have, I'm charging all of them because I have not turned any of them on for at least a year or so. I only turn it on like whenever I buy a new, new one. So now they all they all coming coming up. Street Fighter and Templars. I love Templars and I love Centipede. Now I have Missile Commander. And the Templars is very beautiful color. You can look at any direction of the screen and it is beautiful. So let's measure this screen, see how big this is. So it's, it is the three and a half, like normal three and a half screen. And this is the centipede. So the screen is the same, it's just tilted. This one's tilted straight up and this one's tilted sideways. So I don't know, I didn't get any glare from the screen. It looked very nice. Alright. It's gonna be hard to play this because uh I think I can zoom in there and see if I can sit in front of it. <laughs> now it's probably going to get clear from the uh, from the screen. All right, let's try. Let's look at all the angles. See how it is. It, 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 with the glare, it's very hard to. See. The bottom is good. Now we're looking from the top is good, and the side is good, and this side is good. So, all right, let's start the game. I wonder does a coin here do anything? It does click. Oh, first quarter. The metal doesn't do anything. The size does press in. The metal doesn't do doesn't plug uh, doesn't press in at all. Doesn't do nothing. This one it does have a button here. It does have a button here. Not doing very well. Oh, I miss it. I wonder does, does the light on top show anything? 
So it just stay lit, it doesn't change color on the top, so. Oh, good. I'm not the best in playing <laughs> so Commander. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, I think there's an option where if you, oh, I put two player. Okay. So I press this screen. The screen looks very wide, like it is tilted sideways, as you can see. It's not because the, the way they make the screen, it is kind of make it like like it's going this direction and curving this direction. And then uh, the mission commander, pretty big. So by playing, uh, I'm sitting down and looking straight at it. I'm playing it, it look good. I don't have a glare, but the camera, uh, you're looking straight at it. Uh, let's see, I'm looking at more like this angle when I'm playing. But as you face more higher, it's, there you go. If you face more higher, you shoot your, right now it's facing directly to the ceiling of where the my light is. But if you sit like this, you won't, sh you shouldn't have any glare. You shouldn't have uh, too much glare if you don't face it directly to the to the light. So it's not too bad. I mean, it's good because I'm sitting at this angle and looking straight at it. It looks very nice, very clear, very pretty. So and then here, if by pressing this button right here, you could go to this screen and then you could set the screen brightness, which is large is good. Ooh, I just. I don't make it less. I change it back. Okay, so if by pressing e any one of those button, the f if you press it, it get smaller and smaller on the screen. Oh, I think I zoom in too much. So if you press it once, it gets smaller. It doesn't matter which one you press; they do the same thing. If you press it again, it get the brightness. And then how they get down there? Ooh, that same thing. Okay. Oh, I guess I need to press the bottom of the coin to go down to the next option. So that's on right now. So if I press it again, oop, it just go down. So this one is just to go down the screen option. So if I press this button, it turn it off. As you can see, as you can see, it's off. <laughs> and if I press this button again, it's back on. All right, so to go down again, you need to press this to go down. And I should make it uh, the trackball sensitively. I think I want it faster, okay? And I don't know what's the difference between trackball XL, and but it is on, so I'm gonna leave it on. And replicate attack mode audio is on number of city six which is cool bonus city top I don't know leave it I guess gonna leave it like that we set the highest score okay all right so let's go back by pressing this button and we'll go back to the beginning of the game and to turn it off you just press the button on top Turn the button on top to turn it off. But that is the highest value. So let's turn it off. So this trackball is pretty cool. 
So if I turn it to um, high, just insert a coin. So another coin. Oh wow, now the trackball is going super crazy. I guess I like that better. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like the sensitivity of this track bone is They're pretty good. I right. I right, get out. So, there's no way to get in now. <laughs> I just press this button and to get to the main screen, press it and to get out. All right, so now it's in the demo mode again. So that's pretty cool. I like it, it's a good collection. Um, I would like the idea if we could able to modify the screen by the option to you know, take that glare out. But it does make the screen bigger. It make the screen a lot bigger and you give it the 3d look okay but uh if you play if you look if you play it directly with the light then you're gonna have that glare but if you have it sit down and play it directly like looking down you know or looking directly without the light shining straight at it it looked great i my my tripod is kind of high but let me give you some idea what i'm talking about because you normally don't play that high Normally you're gonna be playing like this, this this angle, and this is the this is what while ago when I was playing I was playing more like this. My track pack just fall, and it's not it's not bad. And then you could play like this, or like this. You know, a little bit like you're sitting up and looking down. So when you're playing it. When you look at straight at it, it's not that bad. But with the with the phone recording it, it's kind of like you know, it's hard to record. It's hard to record it without the glare. But when you playing it, you know, you don't actually see the glare. Let me see. If I was sitting right in front of it, you don't really see the glare. See that? That's how I look. And this is how I, if I was to actually play it, this is what I look like. And when you put the sensitivity, then you don't have to move a lot with the trackball. It will go through the whole screen. So I really love this trackball compared to uh, uh, this one right here. So as you can see, the trackball, let me see if I use my foot, push it off. <laughs> the trackball compared to the size, this is uh, almost two times bigger, the black one, a little bit a lot bigger than the, the white one and plus the white one it doesn't travel you don't hear the you don't hear the ball spinning like this one does okay see so that is that is one of the best track ball i ever seen now i'm waiting for blends on i ordered two two of, uh, actually i ordered yeah two set of this and two set of uh, the spinner actually three three spinner and but that 40 percent of black friday one thing sad is that it doesn't give any percentage on the bill your rk you only give the glint stuff is 40 percent. so i bought a, a spinner with the wheel not this small but for the bigger model because i have a lot of spinners so i said hey why not buy one so I did use the 40% of the Black Friday at Glenn's hand, and I bought Glenn's uh, the big wheel of driving for the spinner. But it's not for this 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 small one. Small one is I did buy three of the spinner with they, they only might come with the wheel. So I bought three of those. And it looked like it's gonna be compatible with the new wave toy. 
So we will do a comparison once I get the blends on product to compare how good it is. But it would be cool, it would be the first Raspberry Pi uh, mini arcade. So that would be real awesome. And they sent me the template for the glints uh, so I could print my own. Uh, but I don't think I could because uh, my printer cannot print this big. My printer only print 8x11. So I might uh, have the guy who do the print now same here in the picture that I want and hopefully he could print me some. Alright, thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped and I'll talk to you later. There's all my collection. Do, 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 do. Oh, this one is in the way. 1943. That's the first coin uh, that they sold. And then this is 1942. Cupid. I bought this one I, because I like this one better than the than the other one because the other one uh the marquee i like this marquee better so i got this one and then there's the template love the template it is beautiful it played very well i know it's not the best spinner like the glens have but it does do the trick and then this is the blue one. I like this one as well. My blue, one of my favorite colors is blue. So this is real cool. And then the Street Fighter. I love the Street Fighter because they're the first able to make a joystick that click and the button click. And this is one of the best joystick. I bought a whole bunch of the little joystick like this, I bought a whole bunch of them because I like it. But it doesn't work with, I mean, it does work with Raspberry Pi, but the problem is missing a star button. I mean, there's a missing a select button. It has, well, missing a star button. Star button is right here. And then select button. So it's missing one button. I wish they make one where you have both buttons, or maybe Glenn in the future, he will make one that you could actually plug into Raspberry Pi and you can build your own mini arcade. So hopefully Glenn will make one that we could actually use. Right now he only make three button, one joystick, but he haven't make a six button wood. We're cooking, cooking joystick. So, uh, yep. All right, thank you for watching. Talk to you later.